so I'm sacrificing potentially film for you guys, so check the Patreon page. Yes, sacrificing some film in this video, or maybe not. Maybe not. In today's video, we're gonna be testing the myth of having your film x-rayed at TSA while you're traveling. Does it affect your film? Instant photography only. Cannot stress this enough, we are only talking about instant photography from Polaroid and Instax. Fuji, that is. So stop leaving the comments. So they ruined my 800 Kodak film. I don't care about your Kodak film. We're talking about Fuji and Polaroid only. Instant photography, okay? So will it be myth confirmed or myth busted? Let's get into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. And honestly, I'm not really too surprised if Polaroid doesn't work because, I mean... <laughs> Thanks, Polaroid. I opened the box of film. There was no, there was nothing there. And so they're pretty much ruined because light's getting in there. <sighs> Their quality control is not the greatest. Wouldn't surprise me if this fails. This is what I'm mostly curious about. Fuji Instax. I have tried so many things to get this stuff to fail. It always just works. So I'm throwing a little twist in this video to see if I can get this stuff to fail. And what I mean by fail is people say or claim that their film gets really foggy from the x-rays. So the x-rays are harming their film and you're not getting clear images. So that's what we're looking for today. So in this video, I traveled to Ohio to collaborate with Dave Knopp from the Knopp Top YouTube channel. And in doing so, I snuck some film in my luggage that was checked that goes underneath the plane. More on that coming up. But also people have been claiming that the new scanners harm your film. With the older scanners they claim up to 800 ISO film will be perfectly fine from the x-ray machine and you don't have any problems. But anything over that then you definitely want to have hand checked. You can still have the other stuff hand checked as well and I talked about that in an old video that I did a couple of years ago when I tested this the first time. But however there are new scanners being put into the airports. They're called CT scanners. Do they harm instant film? Well, let's find out. <laughs> but before we get into the CT scanners, let's talk about having your film checked in the luggage and seeing what happens. One, ignore that I'm sick. Two, I have sacrificed this film. Maybe, in the name of science. Everyone claims that we need to have our film hand checked at TSA. I have proven that that's not the case. I'm referencing the X-ray scans, not CT scans. You don't need to do that. It works just fine. All these pictures you're seeing have been x-rayed. Some of them even double x-rayed. But what I haven't tested is checking your film in your luggage to where it goes under the plane. Because TSA told me their scanners for their your, your luggage there, they're way more intense and it will ruin film. Is that actually the case? Well, I have done it. I've done it with Instax Wide and a pack of Polaroid. So we're gonna shoot some photos, I guess right here to start it out and see what happens. I do have a feeling it won't work though. Don't name a science, let's shoot some photos. Maybe. What happened? I think that worked. There we go. In the name of science, let's shoot some photos. Now I love this thing. This thing's like my favorite go-to wide camera of all time. The Insax 200. All for the name the science. So it happens. Everyone claims that your pictures will get like fogged out or completely ruined. This is not the case. Look at that. So far the myth is uh, just that, a myth. Now I'm gonna shoot some Polaroid later. If insects works, there's always a chance that Polaroid won't. <laughs> They're more temperamental. But so far, so good. Let's, let's shoot some more, let's continue on. That little bag is amazing. Link in the description, I call it Pola Bag. Story photos while you're out shooting. And that sling bag is awesome too. Highly recommend it. Link in the description, not a sponsor.
straight film for the win again. Looks like it's gonna be clear. It's a myth. I put your uh, nerd glasses on because <laughs> we are going to uh, get a little sciency here and talk about the sun and its harmful radiation that it puts out. If you're just walking on the surface of the planet, you are being exposed to x-rays or radiation, but it's so minimal it's not really damaging to an extent. Now, the farther up you go, so let's say you're in an airplane 30,000 feet above the ground, there's less atmosphere while you're flying up there. You are being exposed to a lot higher x-rays than you are on the surface of the planet. You're actually exposed to more x-rays than the x-ray machine at TSA, the scanners themselves, and especially for a lot longer. Your bag goes through that little carousel at, at TSA and it's in there for like 20 seconds maybe uh, and then you pick up your bag and you're on your way you're exposed to higher levels of x-rays or radiation when you're in an airplane it could be flying across the country across the world even you may be up there for 8 10 12 hours sometimes i mean i think flying to australia from where i'm at it's like 16 hours it's crazy to ensure that your film is not getting ruined is put it into what's known as film bags they're lead lined Side note, I actually don't use film bags when traveling. Just wanted to mention and show you that these are an option. And there's a process for this as well when you go through TSA just to save a lot of time. Pull those out of your bag because that won't be penetrated from the machines. Everything, it'll just show up as a big black blob. They're wondering what the heck that is. Pull your bag and you gotta wait in line most of the time and wait for them to go through all of your bag and then find that thing and then they're gonna hand check it and then probably put it back through again. So save some time, pull it out. Now extra pro tip, pull out some of your cameras, especially SX-70 folding cameras. Those tend to always get pulled in my bags when I travel, so I pull those out just to save a lot of time because they can visually see what it is. Because sometimes I'll even open it up and let it go through because they can actually see it's a camera. You don't really want a person that doesn't know how to open an SX-70 camera opening your SX-70 camera. All right, so now, shot some Instax. Woo, I'm gonna shoot some Polaroid. Uh, 600 film. The reason I am using 600 film is because it has a higher ISO or ASA for you film snobs, which means it's more sensitive to potential x-rays and other scanning than let's say SX-70 film, which is 160 ISO. This has been x-ray using my trusty one step two camera. I love this thing. And I guess I'll just take a picture of some of these flowers and see what happens. Yeah, it's kind of lit pretty good. First one shot, let's see what happens in just a couple minutes. It's not as fast as Instax, unfortunately, so we have to wait a little bit longer. Mirror trash can and a recycle bin. I'm gonna show you how to recycle it. You push the front end, pop it, slide it out, take the battery out, this is the battery. This goes in the recycling, this goes in the trash, unfortunately. Now, let's see where we're at. It's been a few minutes, but it's not gonna be developed very far. But you have an idea. Now, I'm not going off of the color of the film mostly because it has been kind of warm and the film has been in the, the car. So it's probably gonna have a little magenta color, but that's not what we're looking for because that's really only comes into play with the temperature outside, not x-ray. At least that's what they say. They say x-ray fogs your, fil your film. Uh, so that's what we're looking for is the fogging of the images. X-ray film, shot number two. Let's see what happens. I have traveled so much over the last four or five years since I've been into instant photography. All my film has been flawless. It's been perfect every single time. All the tests I've ever done. I've even done stuff where it's double x-rayed on purpose. I put it through the machines, don't shoot it, and I bring it back so it's scanned again, flown across the country with it. And that's Polaroid film. Even Instax film to be honest, but mostly Polaroid film. <laughs> and it's been fine. Now with these new machines, what to look out for on that? I have accidentally tested this 
And I don't really have any way to prove that I've done this, so you're gonna have to take my word on it. Typically, I like to show proof, show examples, back up my words, but this I wasn't even aware of uh, while this was happening. I did go through an airport, and I'm pretty sure it was Cleveland or Cincinnati. I'm not 100% sure, but one of those airports had the new CT scanners because they kind of look like this, which is like a jet engine shape. And I have definitely had my film go through one of those scanners at least twice, and I've not had a single problem. I have flown internationally through customs, never had a problem. So on instant photography, going through TSA scanners at the checkpoints, I guess you'd call them, myth is busted that it will ruin your film. Instant photography only, for now, at least. Things are always changing. Now, if you're a longtime viewer and you watch some of my Halloween special, you may have noticed I was complaining about a potential x-ray issue with my film. Happy to announce that it, it, was, it wasn't. It was just a Polaroid lovely QC problem because uh, I thought all my film was ruined. Turns out it was just from the same double pack of film with a weird quality problem. It was turning my photos looking like this, which was replicating some x-ray issues, but it wasn't from the x-rays at TSA. Something went wrong gearing somewhere else along the line, and I have no way to narrow that down. Very disappointing. I brought a lot of film, and I, I did shoot only two packs, and I assumed the rest were ruined, and I shouldn't have done that. It wasn't until I got home and shot some more packs, I'm like, this stuff is fine. I should have shot it on the trip, and that's when it really got me thinking, well, what was wrong with those other two? They came from the same double pack, so from the same batch, and somewhere along the line, bad batch of something. Don't know. Hey, so button in real quick because as I'm editing this, I decided to do a little bit more deep dive research. So there's two things. First thing is PDX, which is Portland, Oregon. That's my home airport. They have implemented the CT scanners over the last several years. Uh, and that means my film has 100% been scanned by a CT scanner. And they don't look like the jet engines like I was telling you about. So they must retrofit some of the older ones with CT scanning. So my film has always come out perfect with it. Now, the second thing I found out is, which I found really interesting, and that is the check luggage scanners, apparently, have been CT scanners this whole time. If you check a bag, it's more likely being scanned with CT. And so in stacks, as you've seen, work just fine and Polaroid was ruined. Now that does make me wonder, the Polaroid film got ruined from the checked luggage, but it didn't get ruined through normal TSA. And those were CT scans through there. So I'm wondering if there's just more intense CT scanning that uh, happens with <laughs> the check luggage. And maybe that's where the misconception is coming from because people are saying that CT scanning is like 70 times more powerful than x-ray and it will ruin your film but maybe not in the case of TSA checkpoint whatever you want to call it maybe it's a CT scan but not as powerful of a CT scan so maybe that term is getting thrown around kind of loosely and people aren't really deep diving into what's actually happening it kind of makes sense so you wouldn't want a gigantic massive x-ray machine or CT scan putting out that much radiation or harmful radiation around all these people shielded or not because there is an opening and an exit of those scanners maybe some can leak out and you wouldn't want people to be exposed to that while they're taking their shoes off and uh, empty in their pockets. <laughs> Just some food for thought, something I found uh, while editing. So without further ado, let's uh, go back to our regular scheduled programming. I mean, Instax just has it figured out. I have tried shooting 10 year plus expired film and it worked. I've tried extremely hot weather and it's been fine. Extremely cold weather in the snow, perfect, no issues. X-rays through TSA, perfect. X-rays through check luggage, perfect. So what next? What should I do next with Insac to try and get this stuff to fail? Maybe in the freezer? I think I might do a freezer test with this because you're not supposed to freeze it, but that's what they say. Is it a real thing? Maybe we'll do a video on that in the future. Let's move over to Polaroid. Not the same case whatsoever. <laughs> uh, the, all of it's ruined. Uh, it definitely has massive color shifts and uh, fogging, weird artifacting. It just doesn't look great at all. And actually the photo didn't really alter uh, for the temperature like I thought it would, at least as much as I, I thought it would do. So for the myth of checking your film in the luggage, myth confirmed on Polaroid and myth busted for Instax. But yeah, Polaroid just fails all the time. 
Uh, even though, fun fact, this is my favorite format to shoot, Polaroid, I do love you. I'm extra harsh on you, I think because I'm very passionate about your film and your cameras, all of it, and I genuinely love shooting it. So it breaks my heart to see stuff like this. Now, I don't really hold this much against them because this is an extreme test. This was to find out. I mean, I went into this, the fact that these did not work. This was pleasantly surprised. This was shocking. Shocking information was discovered. Instax, Mwah! you're amazing. But I expected it to fail, so I don't hold this against Polaroid. It's just some of the other random QC issues that they happen to have that you don't see anywhere else, especially from Instax. So does this settle the debate of X-Rain, your instant film only? having it go through the x-rays slash CT scanners. I would say so, but if you are worried still, just have it hand checked. It may just take a couple extra minutes depending on how long the lines are, but you can still have it hand checked. So with that said, are you gonna have it scanned? Are you gonna have it hand checked? Let me know in the comments below, let's chat. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some more.